Hey you guys, uh, this is Everything Tech and for some people this, you know, this website does look familiar some people think what is this and okay to explain a little bit about what this is it's actually an online game it's called O Game it's a semi war game strategy economical game it's like you have planets and on planets you have like um, mines like a metal mine crystal mine deuterium mines etc and they produce raw materials and with those materials you can upgrade those mines again you can build like ships and you can conquer a raid not no not conquer you can raid your your neighbors you can crash uh, enemy fleets etc 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 uh, there are all kinds of uh, different uh, play styles in this game. You can be a fleeter, that is somebody who only builds fleet with the sole purpose of attacking other people's fleets and collect the debris. Because if you can build uh, one piece of uh, fleet that can destroy the entire enemy fleet, then out of that destruction comes a debris field and that debris field you can harvest and if your losses are less than the amount of harvest you get then you gain a profit so and those profits you can find them on the board you can go to the board here and there are all like kind of uh, well let's you know let's just check it out just to give you an idea uh, let's go to the forum and then let's go to well, where I reside, I reside into Pegasus in this case, and you see here, here are the hits, like uh, top 10 solo hits, and well, let's check uh, this one for example, just for example, so we see here this player, age 25, and he has like 12,000 dead stars, and he send them over to the player called Rafa Nadal and who had like uh, all these ships lying around and well this player made a simulation before and he came to the conclusion wow I could win and he had a lot of resources lying around a lot of debris was created so you can see 8 billion and 5 billion 8 billion metal 5 billion crystal that's a lot of the debris and he also captured like 1.5 billion units of uh, raw materials those are these and the debris was harvested by harvesters by recyclers in this case so and this summarized the uh, complete uh, you know attack he benefit a total a profit of 15 billion units now, okay, this is a very big, uh, big hit, of course, because it's in the top, uh, you know, top 10 solo hits. Okay, but not everybody has the time to, uh, to sit uh, behind this game, but because if you are a fleeter, you spend a lot of time searching for the enemy, you spend a lot of time uh, trying to figure out uh, how the enemy is, uh, you know, uh, fleet saving, put his fleet away and then come back and then from which moon and etc etc and but you also have players who like to only mine they they will only build like mines 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 and mines so they take their all their resources and they build more mines more mines more mines now the advantage of advantage of that system is that is that a mine can never be destroyed it can never be destroyed so those are fixed points so some people are making a habit of, of making uh, a lot of planets and create, you know, a lot of mines, as high as possible. But there's a little downside to this situation is that you can always risk of becoming a farm. That means that, especially, uh, especially when planets are very uh, closely uh, together, that uh, somebody can come over and uh, is going to raid your planets. So that's also a tricky thing about being a miner. So if you are planning to become a miner, so you only want to build mines, but you don't have the time to fleet because you have to go to work, etc., etc., then you always can become a miner. So a year or five ago or something, I went to Pegasus with the idea of 
to become the third option and that was to become a turtler now what is a turtler well the word says it already already a turtler is uh, basically somebody who puts all of its resources onto one planet and builds a lot of defense on that planet so it becomes well practically uh, impenetrable now i say practically because no defense is really completely impenetrable but it's highly <coughs> you know uh, you know a dismotivator for an attacker to attack you at the first place and today i reached a symbolic uh, number for in my case and i will show you my defense now and maybe if you are looking closely maybe you can already see what i mean so let's give you some time to figure that out what do you think okay okay you are already seen it here we have the plasma turrets these things cost a lot of resources and a lot of you know time in total to build but they are very expensive but the nice thing about the plasma turret is that there is no single ship that has rapid fire against a plasma turret if you have taken for example the light laser and you click on details it has rapid fire from the destroyer the bomber and the dead star that means in this case if you have small lasers on your planet and a dead star is coming it can fire at one shot 200 small lasers down in one shot so imagine there are always six rounds six rounds so if you have theoretically one dead star can destroy 1200 small lasers but in general you get like it says after a battle there is up to a 70 percent chance that failed defensive facilities can be returned to use so and this is usually around that figure 70 percent sometimes 69 sometimes 68 like that so why this you know why this video because well this is uh, for me a, a moment that i would say okay i have reached 100,000 plasmas and uh, you know after after which i will concentrate uh, on the rocket launches and i will trade off uh, my deuterium to my trading partners and, and the crystal too because there is a guy in my alliance who is busy with astrophysica 27 don't ask me you know it's it's ludicrous but if i can help him i can help him um so and this is the moment uh, my dear friends uh, all people who like o game i just enter the number two here correction not here but here i will enter the number two and we are going to have 100,000 plasmas so here it will come up to 100,000 plasmas built Tick, 100,000 plasmas, and yes, we have 100,000 plasmas, yes. So, what is also uh, with these 100,000 plasmas are like, you know, 300 dead stars, because uh, if you are a turtler, a turtler cannot be without dead stars, because enemy dead stars can do a lot of damage, but especially when there are no own dead stars but if you have your own dead stars you can do a lot of damage to them as well so it's it's kind of a mixture you have to use for example this simulator to uh to make sure that uh you know uh, i can i can just point this out let's say you have uh like this this defense and there's somebody come like with um let's say 500 dead stars now we simulate you see everything is gone now we just add like 20 dead stars of our own we enter and you see you see there is already uh, the attacker has lost two of his own dead stars and that's already a loss of 20 million so the gain has already has to be 20 million of resources and i only have 20 dead stars here now imagine if this number is 100 here you go he loses even more so that's my point a turtler always should have dead stars but 
not too much because the dead stars themselves can become you know a target as well because they can be uh, turned into uh, profitable uh, debris as well so you have to find a balance and the balance I'm now seeking is like uh, going for the, the father aspect so uh, you see I will trade off the crystal and the deuterium and from now on I will only uh, focus on the rocket launchers so I will just put in 999 and put here 999 and so then this will be done so that's uh, basically all uh, I have the 100,000 uh, plasmas finally and more I don't know I do not need that's enough I will now focus only on the rocket launchers later maybe some more small lasers and then uh, and steady on I will generate more dead stars as well but uh, yeah this is uh, you know this is um, O game and uh, if you want to say hi then uh, you know uh, I am residing at uh, in Pegasus on the ogame.us server it's the United States server in Pegasus and you uh, can already see my coordinates here so you know where I am just say hi if you want to become a turtler you are invited to come over here I can uh, you know I can help you I can send you starting resources and give you pointers uh, whatever and um, yeah that's basically it so um, it's a fun game you can you, you can have a you know have a you, you have uh, several options to to um, to play this game and it's it's an online game it will always go on you can see that the production will all also also go on and even if you are offline it uh, it goes on and on so guys, uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, then uh, give it a thumbs up. If you dis dislike the video, then go with thumbs down. If you like this channel with all its uh, ludicrous videos and you know, you know, for, for everything, everything tech, you know, well, what has this has nothing to do with tech, but you know, well, my my channel was originally, you know, uh, uh, everything of everything. But anyway. If you like all this mess, just, you know, press this subscribe button and don't miss anything out. And uh, we see each other again. See you guys. Bye.